Samuel, Brianne, thank you so much for being here and being a part of this studio uh, telecast. And uh, you know what I want you to do, first of all, is let's just give them a snapshot of who you guys are. In a nutshell, we um, truly uh, want to let you guys know that um, we represent, uh, to the best of our ability, uh, Jesus Christ in, in our music. Amen. And um, we also, um, as far as not just on the music aspect, but also on the teaching aspect, um, we um, have a heart to serve together. Yes. Uh, we think it's very important um, that as a couple that we serve together, and we understand it's not every couple can do that, but um, especially because we are both in ministry, mm -hmm. uh, my wife being a singer and me being a musician as well, mm -hmm. um, we um, have always desired ever since we first got married to do this together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is really who we are. Mm -hmm. uh, we are a team. Uh, we're a team in the Lord, and um, we just, uh, how can I say, our, our goal is to share that mm -hmm. uh, with the world and show, share our gift with the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. And you guys are currently serving on staff at a church. Tell us about your church. Yeah, City View Church in Renton, Washington. Um, it's a great church. It has a bigger feel as far as our music goes, but mm -hmm. it's a very small, intimate, full of fellowship. And um, it is such a blessing for me personally because my family, I'm from Oregon originally, and so I don't have my parents close, so all the people there are family to us. So mm -hmm. that is such a blessing. And just serving with my husband and all the people there, of course, that makes us family. So um, my husband is wonderful at being the music director with our um, associate and worship pastor. Mm -hmm. So he kind of heads up the band and mm -hmm. helps uh, helps them just make sure that they're all together and ready to worship. Um, and then I sing um, with all the singers. We usually have about five to seven singers every Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also um, have the opportunity about once every couple months, once a month, um, to lead worship together and lead the whole congregation and team with that. And this Sunday, actually, we'll be doing that. So we're very excited um, to be able to do that together, serve together. It is such a miraculous feeling to know that God made someone, um, as he was making you, to be a team with that person for his kingdom to better your kingdom. Um, and I just am so blessed that I have someone to do that with and to serve with. So God is so good. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was going to say, you know, um, we met you uh, within the last couple of years and you did backup singing for Brian Duncan. Those yes. of you who uh, probably grew up watching TV in years ago when I did, he was real popular back then in the, the 80s and 90s. Yes. And you sang backup, but not only that, but Sam, you've played, was it played drums for him for mm -hmm. how many years? Uh, yeah, about 15 years. About 15 years. Yeah. And you've also done a lot of other uh, professional drumming. He's a professional drummer. He's very good. He's, he's a mad drummer with mad skills. Yeah. <laughs> From one drummer to another. Um, but you share maybe a little bit about some of the things you've done, you know, in previous times. I come out of Love Center, with, which is uh, Walter Hawkins. Okay. Oh, um, yes. He was basically my uncle. Um, my mom and him grew up together uh, along with the Hawkins family. And that's back in the Midwest, right? And that is uh, in California. That's in oh, California. Oakland, okay. California, and um, so the uh, it was really in my blood. My my dad actually uh, taught them how to play. My dad was a, a piano player. Mm. Played for um, he played for Andre Crouch and yeah. and James wow. Cleveland. And mm. yeah, who's that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so it, it, it's them. been in my blood, and so uh, just. Um, Throughout the years, I, um, of course, um, my mom says I came out playing drums, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so just, uh, just as a, uh, you know, young kid, I, I was um, increasing my skills with drums, and and then I got um, in touch with. Um, it's kind of funny because um, in high school I played with Quincy Jones, so there, there's wow. there's a, there's a, there's a, just a lot of history leading up to actually um, the skills that I needed for the ministry, which is funny because how do you incorporate, you know, what I'm, I'm doing with jazz in the world to ministry, but mm -hmm. really it, it, is, it is all a part of doing ministry with excellence. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just to answer your question, so I um, started playing with Promise Keepers yes. and started playing with Dr. David Jeremiah. 
um, mm -hmm. which uh, my last tour with him was uh, 2010, and um, still great friends. We saw him when he came to Seattle, uh, mm. and we just had a great time mm -hmm. uh, with him, my wife and I. Yes. And um, so, um, and then also in on um, on the gospel side, I I was playing with uh, Rance Allen and and a few other gospel artists uh, who are also coming up, who were coming up at the time. So I really had the privilege to to be able to play with different artists um, mm -hmm. and uh, you know and do different uh, just ministries with these. I, I they're just friends, really. Yeah. Right. They're they're just friends. I, they're artists, of course, but I mean. But they're friends, uh, you know, yeah. I, behind the scenes, if you will. Um, so, so you have a lot of his, you have a lot of history and, yeah. and uh, a lot of uh, impartations. So you just being around people like that that have been in ministry, mm -hmm. you absorb that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Plus, you're a left-handed drummer. I am. That just messes everything <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, yes. he gets teased a lot for that. <laughs> yes. Me being a left-handed drummer. Uh, yeah. There's something about it that makes it <laughs> yeah. awesome, though. I don't know. He's playing in a mirror. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So how did you guys meet? So we met. He was drumming, of course, and I was singing. I mean, how else would we meet, right? Um, so he was the drummer for my gospel choir at Seattle Pacific University, where I went to school there. Okay. Um, and I have a BA in psychology from SPU. And I was in the gospel choir singing, and there he was playing the drums. And now it's all history. Here we are. <laughs> wow. You've been married... So, Oh. Um, almost three and a half years. Wow. Yes. And you love being married. I can see love that. Love yes. being married. Yes. That's my best friend. And that's, yes. I was just telling someone that the other day, just what a blessing it is to be with your best friend every day. And then mm -hmm. what I was saying earlier about being able to do ministry together. Yeah. It's God made us when he was making us to be a team. Yes. And it's Amen. the greatest feeling. I can say one thing about you guys. You guys are always smiling. You oh. always have a great attitude. Well, that's good. And, you know, it, it's nice to have... Um, I know you guys travel a lot. You're involved in your local church, but you do have mm -hmm. opportunity to minister. So if there's mm -hmm. churches or ministries that need good anointed people yes. that have a, a good heart, um, you guys aren't, you don't have airs about you, but you're just true blue, mm -hmm. very yeah. uh, kind and gracious. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. I know we had you for a ladies' Christmas event and yes. our ladies just loved both of you. They came, yeah. you played keyboard and sang, and it was really a delight. It was and anointed. So it was it anointed, was so yes, in a pure yeah. heart, so yes. I got to so. hang out with your husband. Yes. Yeah. That's right. yeah, you guys yeah. didn't hang out the ladies' mm. Christmas dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, now, th the thing that I love about Seattle Praise the Lord, it's, it's really, the, the goal is to highlight the local churches mm -hmm. and the ministry within the churches. So, right now, let's just take a little time and talk about your local church, yes. your pastor, Yes. And what's going on? Because I think it's important for people that are watching right now. You may not be plugged into a church. You're in between churches. Yes. Um, this is a great opportunity if you're in yes. the area. Check this church out. The music's top notch. Yes. But yes. tell us a little bit. So the best thing I think about our church is it's really one of a kind. Mm -hmm. So it is a, um, so you say mixed church, uh, mixed generational, mixed cultural, mixed racially. Yeah. And it is just a beautiful, my favorite thing is every morning standing on stage and singing and be able to look out at what God's kingdom looks like mm -hmm. um, and seeing every culture from every country, you know, all together in one room. And yes. it's a beautiful thing worshiping together. So I think that that is, um, you know, a lot of people say that our church is Renton's best kept secret. Mm -hmm. We don't want it to be a secret. Right, right, right. <laughs> well, I, I'm glad it's, it's best, you know, the best part of it, but not the secret part. So we want people to know that it is a place where no matter what um, denomination you're, you've come from, no matter what walk of mm -hmm. life you're in, um, you know, whatever what language you speak, you're totally mm -hmm. welcome there. And that is definitely my favorite part. Um, another wonderful thing about our church is our pastor, yeah. Pastor Chester Gross. He is an amazing teacher. He just gets up there and talks to you like we're talking right now. Yeah. But it's so profound and so anointed. Um, he really has the gift of teaching. Um, he's not an evangelist type preacher, mm -hmm. he's a teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. So he teaches um, in El Salvador, he has a, like an academy there that they teach pastors to be taught up so that they can pastor mm -hmm. um, their mm -hmm. churches. And Good. so he's been writing all these books that he has a curriculum for so in English so that all of us can have access to them. So he's on Amazon selling his books. So Pastor Chester Gross. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing stuff. Amazing books and just an amazing teacher, amazing man of God. And 
his wife are just, they're like our second parents. We're so blessed with them. We hang out at their house all the time, and they're just wonderful people. That's wonderful, so. wonderful. So tell us a little bit about your vision and your goal, because I know churches all around the Northwest or, or beyond, they're always looking for um, competent, qualified talent, but talent is one thing. Mm-hmm. Heart is the other. I believe that when people are looking, it's right in their church. Yeah. Right. It actually right. I mean, there are many people out there that are just whether they're scared, mm-hmm. m- some are frustrated, you know, some are coming from places that are hindering them from using their their gift right to the fullest. So yeah. so uh specifically in music for for us, you know, mm-hmm. everybody knows about spiritual warfare. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Um but one thing that um just as a little boy that I was taught was, you know, remember how the Lord loved his disciples. Remember how he taught them Mm -hmm. through his example. Mm -hmm. And so um, one thing that is always on my heart is to use the people that you guys have. Um, I mean, you can bring people in and, um, you know, we come in, but we come in to really establish Mm -hmm. a foundation, Mm -hmm. Um, a foundation to be able to, when we leave, you know, mm-hmm. that there is a foundation and there also is a family established, right. you know. So, so, you know, so usually we go in and, uh, and we teach mm-hmm. and we also uh, get into the word together um, and we, you know, and we study, you know, we study music, uh, you know, and I study fundamentals about music and those types of things. Uh, we do those things, but we also really get into the word and we get in to how does all this incorporate with the word, you know? And, and me being a drummer, a lot of people forget that drums are battle cry. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. That's, that's you know, if you look at the history, that's what drums were made for. It was the battle cry. You hear those drums, oh, mm-hmm. we're going to war. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So, um, and so I, I use that to break down strongholds. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you so much for joining us today here at Seattle, praise the Lord. And we just trust that you have an incredible day. Remember, Christ died for you so that you can live your life with success. May God bless you and have a wonderful and an amazing day.